Awesome. They have Crew 9 home, just a, a beautiful landing. I think many of you heard that uh, back in January, the president asked SpaceX uh, what it would take to bring the, this crew home. And I will tell you that at the time that that question was asked, we were already looking at options, what to do with the Crew 10, Crew 9 um, situation and how we're going to set that up. Space Station program, the commercial crew program at SpaceX, came up with the plan that we just witnessed, the Crew 10 launch last week, the docking over the weekend, the undock early today, and then the landing that we just witnessed. Um, you, you know, the thing I think back of this whole time frame is how resilient Butch and Sonny were the whole time. I mean, they launched on what was going to be a short test flight with the crew, flight test vehicle with Boeing. And then they moved very quickly into station increment operations and they became seamlessly part of the International Space Station. And they did that because they're experienced astronauts and we had prepared, right? We had flown gloves for them to do spacewalks and we had flown a lot of components for them. So I think that shows the adaptability of crew members. that they flew up on the Boeing vehicle and home on SpaceX. This is a lesson learned for NASA too, such that when we do have Boeing and SpaceX both flying on a regular basis, we need to be, be able to do the opposite too. If we come up on a SpaceX vehicle and have a problem to be bringing people home on a Boeing vehicle. Jelajahi cara baru mendapatkan informasi. Download Metro TV Extend sekarang.